Last year, the Yoga Pro 9i 16 and 14 inch, also known as the Slim Pro 9i, were two of the best laptops of the year. In fact, they came fourth out of the 70 laptops that we tested. They had a premium build, high performance CPU and GPU, great keyboard and fantastic mini LED displays. But what really set them apart was unlike most Windows laptops with such components, was that they didn't get annoyingly warm to the touch while using them. And when it comes to the 16 inch in particular, it was a very quiet laptop with very little annoying fan noise. If there was a Windows equivalent of the MacBook Pros, these were it. But neither were perfect. The 16 inch had poor port selection and a small battery for a laptop this size. The 14 inch on the other hand did have some audible fan noise. It certainly wasn't anywhere near the worst we've heard, but it was there. Well, in 2024, the Yoga Pro 9i 16 inch has been updated where it counts. You've got Intel's more efficient Core Ultra 9 Meteor Lake processor inside. You've got more powerful graphics with Nvidia's RTX 4070, a larger battery, and a second USB-C port. The 14 inch unfortunately isn't being updated this year, at least according to our Lenovo rep. So today, I'm gonna to go through all the major changes in this year's updated model. And then at the end, I'll compare how it stacks up against its competitors. The new Asus G16 and the HP Spectre 16 both updated for 2024, as well as the MacBook Pro 16 with M3. As this is an iterative update, if you do wanna know the details on the other parts of the laptop that I don't cover today, just check the link down below the video for my review of last year's version. Let's get into the changes, starting with the name. If you're based in the USA, you may know this laptop as the Slim Pro 9i. In the rest of the world, it was known as the Yoga Pro 9i. In the USA, you see, Yoga was Lenovo's brand for their two-in-one convertible laptops. In the rest of the world, it referred to their entire consumer range. Lenovo is simplifying, so gone is the Slim moniker, and now it's just called the Yoga Worldwide. But putting the naming aside, the first real big change is that this year's model uses Intel's new Core Ultra 9 processor. This replaces the Intel 13th Gen i9H series from last year. The performance is for the most part similar, which means it's still a very fast laptop. A tad slower in Geekbench, which tests a variety of common performance tasks, and a bit better in Cinebench Multicore, which tests the processor when it's maxed out. But the real gain is in efficiency. This year's Core Ultra processor is much more efficient than last year's CPU, drawing around 55 watts. This is 30 watts less than last year's for very similar performance. This is a phenomenal improvement and results in a very quiet laptop. When it's running on its highest performance mode and the CPU is maxed out, the fan noise is much quieter than last year. And in light use, the laptop is dead silent. When it comes to heat you feel, it is very minimal for a laptop with this much performance. Inside the laptop, the processor remained very cool throughout our testing. I do want to call out one additional note. Performance over a 10 minute torture test on this laptop, it does drop a bit. Given the thermal headroom that I just showed you, I think Lenovo could have probably kept performance from dropping by allowing the processor to run hotter. Hopefully they address this with a BIOS update. And FYI folks, we are seeing this across the board. Manufacturers needing to better tune their laptops for these new processors. Now, a very interesting finding to share. We've recently tested a variety of smaller laptops with Intel's Core Ultra processor. This includes the new HP Spectre 14, the Asus ZenBook 14, and the ThinkPad X1 Carbon. For those laptops, we did not see this level of power efficiency improvement of Core Ultra over the prior 13th gen. It was more modest. For higher performing laptops though, like this one, we are seeing a substantial improvement. Here's the scatter plot of how Intel's older 13th gen performs as you feed it more power. This is across a sampling of different laptops running various performance modes. You can see there is a curve indicating diminishing marginal returns as you feed those laptops more power. Now, take a look at Intel's new Core Ultra. It's more of a straight line. This means if you were to feed Intel's older processor 55 watts of power, you'd get a Cinebench 2024 score of a little under 800 points. On Intel's new Core Ultra, we are seeing closer to 1000 points for the same power draw. That's a big difference. All right, let's move on to graphics. Last year's version, at least in the USA, maxed out with an RTX 4060. Our model this year has an RTX 4070. The CPU and GPU, when run together, can draw up to 130 watts, with the GPU drawing up to 100. It ties with Asus's new G16 in TimeSpy, and it gets very close to the performance of Lenovo's own gaming laptop, the Legion Slim 7i, with the same GPU. Both those laptops get much hotter to the touch while gaming than this one, and they have louder fan noise. Great results here for the Yoga Pro 9i. And by the way, to run these tests, we did use Nvidia's Advanced Optimus to connect the dedicated graphics directly to the display for maximum performance. I'm not sure if it was available or not with the RTX 4060 variant. 
Let's take a look at battery life. Performance on battery does drop a bit this year, which didn't happen last year, but there are some big benefits. Battery life as a whole is much improved. Part of this is due to the more efficient processor and part is due to the larger battery. This year our unit included an 84 watt hour one, whereas last year it was only a smaller 75 watt hour one. We ran Cinebench on a loop for 30 minutes in high performance mode while on battery. We got 57% remaining, which is much improved from last year and where you'd expect it to be for this kind of laptop. When we switched to a more realistic battery test, watching a Netflix movie on repeat over Wi-Fi for 4 hours, we got 55% remaining. Certainly not class leading, but better than last year's and better than the Legion Slim 7i with its 100 watt hour battery. Alright, rounding out the improvements. This year's model can now come with up to 64 gig of fast LPDDR5X memory. Previously it was only 32. This is important as this laptop's memory is soldered and there are people out there who will want that much. And then the ports, great news here. There is now a second USB-C port on the left side of the laptop. This port provides 10 gigabit USB transfer speeds, DisplayPort 1.4 and charging capabilities. Note, you don't lose the USB-A port that was there, instead it's just been moved to the right side of the laptop. Look, one additional USB-C port may not sound like much of an improvement, but it really is. Let's say you're out and about and you want to charge your laptop using a small USB-C charger, that's instead of Lenovo's large proprietary charging brick. If you did this on the older model, you'd have used up your single USB-C port. No other USB-C peripherals could be plugged in. Well, that's unless they had a charging pass-through. This was annoying as all hell, and I'm very glad to see it's been solved. Additionally, the HDMI port has been bumped up from 2.0 to 2.1. The SD card reader, it still seems to be a slow one though, which is unfortunate in a laptop in this price range. Alright, a lot of improvements where they matter for this 2024 version. However, I do want to draw your attention to one thing. Many manufacturers this year have launched completely redesigned versions of their premium 16 inch laptops. HP has a redesigned Spectre 16 and Asus has a redesigned Zafiris G16. Although this laptop's build quality would have been considered premium last year, in 2024 the chassis of those other laptops feels noticeably higher quality. And when compared to the G16 specifically, this laptop is heavier and therefore won't feel as comfortable to carry around. And this leads me to my conclusion. When it comes to premium 16 inch laptops, this Yoga Pro 9i, it may not look the prettiest and it's not the lightest, but it has it where it counts. Usability, it has substantially less fan noise than the new G16 in every use case, yet it's just as powerful for graphics and more powerful for CPU tasks. It doesn't get distractingly warm to the touch like the new HP Spectre 16, plus it has a much brighter and nicer screen than both those laptops. Compared to the MacBook Pro 16 with M3, you're getting 90% of that laptop for a fraction of the price. The Yoga Pro 9 is just an incredible deal by comparison. Everything material about this laptop is good to very good. Therefore it is THE premium powerful yet still portable laptop that most people should buy, me included. And FYI, all three people here who tested this one alongside those other Windows competitors that I just mentioned came to the same conclusion. So if you're looking for the best Windows laptop right now for programming, video editing or other high performance tasks that you could also do some solid AAA gaming on in your downtime, go buy this laptop. At the time of publishing this video, this new Yoga Pro 9i for 2024 was not on sale yet, at least not in the USA. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell on, as we will notify you the moment it becomes available. Finally, another great way to stay in the loop is to regularly check our new website, where you'll find the best prices that we can find on this Yoga Pro 9i, as well as comprehensive lists of all the laptops that we've tested and recommend for different types of users. Well. That's all I got for you. Go do something awesome with your day and I will catch you later.